It could be a medical game changer. Researchers at Michigan State University say honeybees can detect lung cancer. CBS News Detroit's Kelly Vaughn has been looking into it, and we know they're amazing creatures for all they do, but this seems next level. Added to the list of things bees do for us, now there's a future in which bees could simply smell your breath and then detect if you have cancer. Now, dogs have always been a medical diagnostic tool. We know they can sense seizures, among other things, but bees, they also have that incredible sense of smell, and they're cheaper and require less upkeep than dogs. And with this bee brain surgery that I'm going to tell you about, they don't need any training to detect the biomarkers of cancer. Bees have long provided humans with honey, wax, and the pollination of around 80% of our flowering plants. But in the future, they could also sniff out cancer. This discovery all started with teeny tiny bee brain surgery done under a microscope. You definitely notice how much your hands shake. Michael Parnas is a researcher at Michigan State University. He says they used a 3D printed harness to hold the live bee as they opened up its head to the parts of its brain that deals with smell. And we can plant an electrode in there to basically record how those neurons are responding as we present odors to the insect. He says they presented the bees with a mixture that replicates the breath of someone with lung cancer using lab grown human cancer cells. The insects were not only able to distinguish between the cancer and the healthy breath, but could also differentiate between the six different types of lung cancer cells that they smelled. And they could detect very small concentrations of cancer. Think like one molecule in a swimming pool sort of concentrations. Doesn't surprise me at all. Brian Peterson Roost is the co-founder and president of Bees in the D, a nonprofit which provides education and conservation for pollinators. He says bees have an incredible sense of smell. Definitely. I mean, it's kind of funny. I tell people with my truck, there's all kinds of bee smells because I take honey frames and stuff like that. Literally within a minute, if not 30 seconds, bees already start showing up because they can smell those different odorants that are in the back of my truck. He says bees are already crucial for our food industry and ecosystem and could soon be for our health care. Now, the science on all of this is early, of course, but they hope that there's a future where you could get a non-invasive early detection cancer test where you'd simply breathe into a device with a sensor that they'd create that's based on these bee brains, and then it could analyze your breath and then report if any cancer chemicals are present. Fascinating. I can't believe we just saw images of bee brain surgery. That's insane. And you heard him <laughs> say, he's like, you can really tell how much your hands shake because they're doing it with these teeny tiny devices. Yeah. Just amazing what they're capable of. It makes me want to go plant some pollinator friendly plants that right now. That was their advice. Go <laughs> yes. ahead and plant those pollinators. Gotta and... help them out. Yes. <laughs> All right. Fascinating. Thank you very much, Kelly.